All right, what's going on, guys? Trev and Tristan back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving our quick thoughts on episode five of X Men '97. Yeah, what'd you think of it? What was awesome, Brian? Was all you want? Kind of watched it with me a little bit. He kind of sees the colors and stuff. He seems to like Dazzler and Jubilee. So, yeah. Um, X Men '97. People ask me, Trev, what did you think about this episode? Uh, if you're wondering from my background, I just used some bags to block the window so that we can sleep in. I kind of work afternoons, so work late in my in our room right now, Tristan's room, I guess. Um, yeah, episode five. Remember it. Uh, this is spoiler warning. Basically, Gambit's episode of X Men '97. Yeah, yeah. Remember it. Um, it was amazing, dudes. It was incredible. It was one of the best episodes of X-Men ever, I'd have to say. Um, in it, you know, you basically see the X-Men and the mutants go to, well, not all the X-Men, but mutants set up uh, Genosha. And um, you you see Magneto go there and they set it up. They're going to join the United Nations as a, uh, as a mutant country, which is really awesome, right? Magneto, Rogue, uh, Gambit. A lot of the others are uh, are there. Madeline Pryor, which is Jean's clone that has the uh, baby with Cyclops uh, Cable, who goes in the future. And then we get to see him kind of time shift back in this one for just a quick second. But uh, yeah, spoiler. So you see what looks to be the death of Gambit which uh, in episode five, which was unbelievable the way they did it because he basically sacrifices himself to kill a tri-sentinel but it's like a monstrosity tri-sentinel you know in the comics you'd have tri-sentinels where they have the three heads and they kind of turn and blast or do whatever they're doing you know hold mutant and all the stuff but in this one it's like a, a sentinel mon uh, monstrosity it's like a giant tri-sentinel on like some kind of big you know spider uh, robotic bug type uh, thing and it, it like ambushes them you know and just starts you know, lighten the whole place up with some green um, sentinel blasts. It's really awesome, dudes, I'm telling you. So they also used uh, Ace of Base in Episode 5. Like, dude, awesome. Uh, the song they used, it wasn't I Saw the Sign, which is what you usually would expect. Uh, 90s, uh, I Saw the Sign, which I love. I love uh, uh, Ace of Base is based, okay? If anything, Ace of Base is based, okay? It's just, I'm just saying, right? He has no idea what I'm saying. He's looking at me like... Who in the F are you talking to? What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> he's so confused, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's so confused. Ace of Base is base. They used um, Happy Happy Nation, which I, I'd never heard the song, I don't think. Maybe maybe if it was got radio play. I heard it in the 90s, but I don't remember ever hearing it. They used it for Rogue in like a... Unbelievable scene. They set up like a love triangle between Magneto after, uh, and Rogue and Gambit because uh, it was discovered that Magneto could actually touch Rogue without, uh, you know, her powers uh, drain, power drain um, affecting him, whereas, you know, Gambit can't. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, it's an unbelievable episode. It's definitely a 10 out of 10. Uh, episode 5, remember it. If you like Gambit, uh, if you liked X-Men the Animated Series, you got to check this out. you got to watch it because he dropped his soother. One sec. Oh. Is it good? It landed on the backside. Is it good? Is it good? Is it okay? Is it okay? What did you think of X-Men 95? Did you like X-Men 95? Did you like Gambit? What did you think? Well, <laughs> he's like, yeah. he wants the phone. Give me the phone. No, you can't have the phone. I'm doing something. I'm using it right now. You wait. Oh, just kidding. Um, you can have it later. He's gonna smash us. He wants to smash. He's got his own cell phone toy. He can he can break later. Uh, you gotta see it. You gotta see it. They killed it. It's amazing. Uh, it's based. It's Ace of based. Check it out. Remember it. The best episode of X Men since the season four episodes. Because season five of the original X Men animated series is actually not that good. The animation sucks. They switched animation studios. Season five of the original X Men '90s series. Is not that good. There's a Captain America episode with Wolverine that's pretty good. Old Soldiers, I think it's called. Um, something like that. But this episode right here, remember, it is better than any episode of X-Men since, like, season four of the 90s series. It's unbelievable. Before you leave, you don't mind, thumb the video up. But leave a comment below. What did you think? Do you think maybe Gambit can survive this? They can do something? 
Uh, Wolverine's not there for the trick where Rogue, you know, sucks his power power drain to give it to Gambit. It's not not doable in this case. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so amazing, I incredible. X Men ninety seven, unbelievable. It's so good. It, it's so good. You know, I had like nineties flashbacks or something. I was I had like an existential experience. I was watching it with <laughs> with this guy, watching X Men, and uh, yeah. It was just unbelievable. So thumbs up, guys. I'll see you again soon. As always, it's Travis Sampy. Sorry, guys. See you soon.